I look like someone said, Ben, we're going to go watch AFC Thames. Have you got anything red and white? I've gone, yeah, I've got a white t-shirt and a red one. I can put them over each other. And then I've turned up to the game and gone, this is great. Unless we're losing to Maidstone, which happens sometimes. Folks, welcome back to the episode of AFC Thames with me, Lots FM. Good to see you. I hope I find you well. If you enjoy the series, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. Please do drop a like on it. Let's aim for a thousand. It's not been, it's been a little while since we've hit it, but I know you're out there. So come on, let's let's give it a whirl. Now look, I said I would play through that January period after the nil-nil against Bath City and the bizarre defeat we had to Burgess Hill. Uh, Billericay and Concord Rangers both destroyed. P -p -p gone. Uh, nil nil against Slough Town boring. Um, two one wins against Hayes and a one nil win against Welling have put us in a pretty strong position. Up into fifth at the moment but you can see defeat in the builder base trophy for Gah! and then uh, Maidstone yeah, a defeat there as well. So looking at the league table there it is. Um, there it is. <laughs> you can see we're on 34 points after 19 games which is pretty good really. 10 wins from our 19 games um, with a few a few draws and a couple of defeats in there. Adam Smith having a phenomenal season for us as I was expecting him to. 13 goals in 19 competition uh, 19 appearances. Really really solid from him and Marsh Hughes on the other side of things as well not to be forgotten 19 games eight uh, eight goals nine assists really good of course providing lots of the goals for Smith his strike partner and a partnership that is continuing to blossom for us and we go into today's game at full strength which is not a position we're always in but we are today and Sonny Best has made himself part of that full strength conversation so shout out to him he was forced his way into this side uh, let's waste a little time then two games coming up today we've got Hampton and Richmond and then Truro City two games that are going to be pretty difficult to sides that are up there in and around us so i don't make it easy for myself i could have played i could have played some of the easier sides um i drew against slough so maybe that's when i say easier sides viewers i mean teams that are similar to slough all right team them wise team them wise team wise <laughs> fleming in goal ings reeve king thorn we've got brunt and a cohen in the center best one side lewis the other marsh Hughes and smith up front a goal scoring duo i love to see come on we need we need more wins tough game it's a, it's a bit i feel like when you're playing at some of the better sides it's a bit random like i don't know what's going to happen here i'm quite excited to see carnage that's all that's all i require carnage is my well part of my surname <laughs> And also, I'd be remiss not to mention this right now. Of course, these videos come out at 5 o'clock. Uh, from 7 o'clock, it's the Streamer Showdown draft tonight. Uh, I'll put a link to my Twitch channel in the description. Come along. Come support me. I've got a plan. Uh, it's 17 Premier League players, one wild card from the other top four divisions in Europe, and 500 million to spend. And your man's got a plan. It's going to be exciting. As we've got a throw, he's got a plan. Ings throws it towards Sonny Best, who's just under it, and just uh, nods it in. Long throws will be a feature of the Streamer Showdown this weekend. Will I be buying specialists well i don't really exist in the prem but maybe ings here with a phenomenal throw in we can probably hide this league table as it's, it's popped in and sonny best not the biggest player in the world but um yeah the keeper i struggle to deal with that we take a one nil away lead here with a set piece as they themselves now have a throw in will we win it back and break or will they throw it deep into our half a cohen does brilliantly to get in the way and now smith the pace of him beats his defender the amount of times i've seen the players do this against us marsh Hughes, the combination it's this goalkeeper's not very good. Uh, it's 2-0. I'm happy that he's not very good. Uh, Gukowski, um, yeah, not ideal for him here. I think last time we played Hampson and Richmond, actually, I'm just thinking, I think we lost 3-0. So this is a real turnaround after 12 minutes. And this is what you want to see, by the way, from your striking partnership, right? Laying it off, finishing on goal, and 2-0 to the good. Lovely stuff. And also, I don't know if I mentioned this recently, but KFC have sponsored the streamer showdown. So these, this branding now makes total sense, unless you're a fan of AFC Thames. Things to a Cohen. Back to Ings as he plays it back inside to a Cohen. Ball lofted forward. Not his best work. And of course, when you play two in midfield, you do leave yourselves quite open to being dominated by other midfields, especially if they play a three, whether it be a defensive player or an attacking player. But for some reason, I've put my quality in there and they just managed to hold off other sides that come up against them on a regular basis. You can see as well our fullback's really getting forward. Thorn, who on the surface isn't the quickest if you look at his attributes, but wow, well, got forward brilliantly there. Ball in was decent too, and the header just off target. To corner, Sonny Best plays it in. Reeves there. Well, it was again, we're going close. We're having a lot of chances early on. Goodness me. More than I'm used to, if I'm honest viewers. We've now got a free kick on the edge of the penalty area. The man stepping up is going to be Sonny Best. I actually have two players now, Sonny Carey and Sonny Best. I don't think anyone's ever had that before in their lives. There's Sonny Best. Scores quite the goal. It was it was one of the best goals of the game so far. Two for him now, and 3-0 to the good. 
I said he deserved a spot in this team, and this is why. A peach of a free kick. All right, three and a half time. That's what we want to see, as I'm very happy with the way things are going. No need to encourage anyone else any further, as let's hope now, as we have a good shot there, they've made a change as well. Richard Chin. Is that, is that really his name? Richard Chin. I love that. I think it's either come off or gone off. Okay, come on or gone off. As that's ball, that boy's launched forward before Frozen. Akuri's in for them, and... She was just wide. I don't know what happened defensively. I think I'm best not knowing. Because when you have a wireless mouse, I've had a wireless mouse for about two years. I don't know why I'm bringing this up now. I do feel like I could just do the weather constantly. Just sort of, just, just clicking away, you know. Maybe it's raining today. Is it raining? No, it's nice. It's just mild. It's just, it's England is what it is. Brunt, Marsh Hughes. Smith's on it now. If he can feed the ball forward, goes back to Brunt though, who's got a little bit more space. He does sit a little bit deeper than a Cohen Gemini. You can see it there as Thorne into Smith, into Marsh Hughes, into Smith. Oh, it's a great effort and a good save. We've had 20 shots here. Are we all right? Some games we have like three shots, none on target, and get either draw or get beat. In a game against a side that are very much in and around us at the top of the league table, this is what we're doing against them away from home. It, it feels a bit random in this division. I, I can't wait to get to the sort of like the, the National League, League Two, League One Championship. It's almost like the save restarts when you become professional. Like that's that's the crazy bit. Thorn with a long throw. We've already scored one. Will we score another? It's a brilliant throw as well. Right into the heart of things. Sonny Best head on goal. I mean, whatever. Sona racing forward. We've got to get close to him. As if they score now, they'll probably think they've got a chance back into this as the block from us is pretty good. Chin there on the ball. Lo lovely to see it. Anakin now just about keeps it in. Thorn clears it away though. Is that going to be it? This is still the highlight we had from the the very like the, the highlight before this. As Lewis now racing forward on this left-hand side. A couple of options getting into the penalty area. If you can pick one out. Cross goes in there. Smith's there as well. And it's another brilliant save. This keeper's having a great game. They've got a free kick themselves. Whipped in. Back post. Headed clear by us. So good defending once again. As Chin picks it up, we've got a few players on the edge here willing to break it, looks like, but they do well to keep it. McGlip. They've got some great, great names in this side, by the way. Another shot goes in, and this time, the back of the net. Aaron Sona with it. And um, I don't think we need to worry. We've been utterly dominant. I've, I've tried to encourage them, which I don't think could ever be perceived as negative. I can't believe anyone would be annoyed about that. Cohen on 6.4, but he's so pivotal to everything we do. I can't exactly take him off. I don't want to be in a position here where we can see the goal, and then suddenly, there's like 12 minutes to go, and... There's only a goal in it because then it starts to crumble as Kings ball forward. Oh, they've missed the header. McLips missed it. Smith surely scores. He loves that type of finish. Dinks the keeper, sends him down. And 4-1 is surely going to mean the win now. And the league table, the way things are shaping up, I'll tell you what, viewers. I'll tell you now. We, this is exciting. I just feel like in any game we play right now, we have the ability to win it. And that's the first time in this division specifically, and almost the entire series actually, in a way, like it's been a bit of a grind to get through some of the divisions, but this one suddenly feels like we have got a chance of winning every single game, and um, that is now five. Malachi Reeve, who's been here for a while now with another, another good goal, 10 minutes to go. This is, I mean, I'm happy. It's good for the goal difference as well, actually. I should not really forget about that. Going to take Brunt off, going to bring Aaron Barnes on, going to bring... Maskell on as well. We're going we're to make a couple of changes. Three changes, final five minutes, just to make sure that some of the key players don't get injured. 27 shots, and we're not done yet, by the way. Thorne, this time goes short to Yule, if you could get the ball into the middle. Not quite. Some of the younger players, Yule, right? Not, not even someone you're necessarily familiar with, really. But we're going to try and bring some of our youth prospects forward. So by the time we're in maybe League 2, they're pushing for bench spots on a more regular basis as Lewis flicks in a sixth. This has been... Sensational. Hemel Hempstead started the day above us in the table, remember? And now we've won 6-1 away from home. Sensational! Not another one. I mean, this is, get, this is getting a bit daft now. Another long throw is launched up. And regardless of whether we score from it, a highlight has, has very much begun. A Cohen into Yule. He's got options ahead of him. Finds Lewis. We're not going to score seven, are we? Are we? Yule on it again in the centre. Looking pretty good, by the way, for a man that doesn't normally play for me as that shot whistles wide. Their keepers had a great game as well. We've had 20 shots on target. And there it is then. Game over. Big, big result for us. Sonny Best with a couple. Smith, Reeve, Lewis and Marsh Hughes in the, in, the, in the scoring for us. The XG for us, only 2.32. Uh, but blimey, what a performance. Great result all round. And uh, we go to the next one then. I mean, you'd think guaranteed winners, wouldn't you? So let's find out together. Truro coming up. Let's take them on. All right. Guess what team we're going to play for this next game. You're right. Here we go then. Truro City are going to face off against the same side that have just spectacularly won 6 0. 6 1. Give them credit. Uh, away from home. Can we now win at home against a side that are a little bit worse than the side we've just beat? I wonder.
Why do I not sound confident, viewers? Hey, why do, why do I not sound confident? Come on, defenders, midfielders, attackers. i got faith in you, boys. Come on. Corner straight away. Sonny Best. There's a lot of information on the screen, so we'll just hide a little bit of it. As actually, it's going to be a breakaway for Truro as they find Williams in a forward area. It's a difficult angle to do anything from, really, unless we foul him. Apparently, it was a good tackle. Apparently, viewers, it was a good tackle. I was nervous. There was a pause of, is that going to... It's not. Okay, but they're not finished here. Shot on goal. Ogbonna with it, Solomon Ogbonna with a lovely finish and 1-0 um, down after a minute. So that's good. Hey, look, we, won, we scored six in the last game. Six. So let's just do that again. Long throw. Ings launching it in there. Why not? As the keeper comes and claims Willits there. Sometimes the keepers will just get it and sometimes the keepers will get it to set up counter-attacks. So it, as much as you score goals from it, it's equally a risk because sometimes it can really hinder you as the ball has gone back into their half. We're going to get there. No, they're going to keep it in just about. Grocott and then, wow, flip it. He flew into the tackle. He flew in and fell over. It didn't go brilliantly for him. Grocott brings it forward into the middle of the pitch here. As uh, we're refusing to put a foot in, which is fine for now, as Brunt finally takes it off them. Now Smith, back to best. We've got a runner. Marshies kind of went, but if he plays him forward, Smith in acres of space. Blimey, can't miss. He does miss. Is it a good save? Yeah, it is. Behind for a corner, as we continue to look at that really weirdly shaped building, which I've been I've been ignoring for a few episodes now, for quite a lot of episodes. But I'm, I'm still very much aware it's there. Makes me pretty cross, if you must know. I'm looking forward to rename, re renaming the series. Um, what? Yeah. When we become professional... I'll be changing it to AFC Thames um, when we will officially be AFC Thames. But for now, we are just Thames. Although it does say AFC Thames. Um, we, to become association football club, the associates of the football club, I want to be professional. Why? I don't know. Just something I want to do. I don't really. I don't. I don't know why. Uh, Performance-wise, we are still losing. We're not playing particularly well, and the options we have off the bench. I've not really been able to bring anyone better to fit the side. I had a look around. I mentioned it last episode. It hasn't really happened. So we are relying on the likes of Sheldon uh, Maskell and Marvin Yule, who are young prospects going through, to come off the bench occasionally and make an impact. They're not brilliant footballers, so it's difficult for them to do that. This this is very much our best eleven, and that is arguably where we'll become found out when we get towards the, the, the later stages of the season, I, I suspect, as uh, King has got it. He's going back to Fleming. I'm just trying to figure out positionally if there's anything we can change, because I'm not used to watching in 3D as often these days with the Do It Better series that I'm doing alongside this. As that ball forward, by the way, from Fleming to Smith, is outrageously good. He's had two chances now that on another day in a bag, another day being last week. I guess we'll go... I mean, do you even need to go attacking? We're playing pretty well. We'll try to fire the boys up. As I, it's flicked in by Reeve. He scored at the last game. He scores in this, bailing us out of a tricky situation. This is sort of what I'm talking about, though. We are we are on a bit of a run here. We're winning games on a regular basis, and I'm very much enjoying it. 20 minutes to go. This is where me not being able to bring someone off the bench to change the game dramatically is a problem for us. I don't really want to bring you all on in this situation. And striker-wise, again, is, is Sheldon Maskell the guy to bring on? Why can't I click his name? I can do it here. You can see there. He's got a lot of pace. That's that's the difference with Sheldon Maskell. Do you bring him on for the likes of Marsh Hughes late on? I mean, whether he scores goals or not is going to be a question mark. But we'll bring him on. Two advanced forwards. A little bit of pace. The two of them now hopefully causing problems. Maybe it'll just be a case of him setting up something in the middle. You never know. They've had two players go off injured as well. And now they've got a throw in. With about 10 minutes to go. We've won the first game so convincingly. To not win this one now would be such a disappointment, I've got to say. Doherty on it in the centre. Can we close down? Maybe put a foot in. It's not happening, is it? He's just trundling forward. Cross has played in. It's dangerous. Oh, we've missed the header as well. Ings picks it up on that side. Launches it forward. As the control is decent. And again, can we head it away? It's flicked on well. Reeve gets it clear this time. And Lewis is going to pick this up. And maybe now, this is going to be one of the moments. Smith ahead of him. Charging forward. Lewis goes himself. That is ambitious, viewers. Go attacking. We'll try and go at an even quicker tempo. Whether we can do anything because of that, I don't know if that's going to help or hinder. We've got another chance. Fleming, from the goal kick, launches it high towards Sonny Best, who we are trying to play with a second ball here, which I'm all for, really. Best gets it from a Cohen now. If he can beat his man, maybe find a pass forward. He's just tackled off it so easily. It was like he was waiting for the tackle to happen. We go all the way back to the goalkeeper. And they're going to have to work this out. Now, defensively, can we win this back? Lewis is there. The goalkeeper's clearance, not particularly good. And Sonny Best has got a little bit of space on that right-hand side. Lifts the ball, does it into the middle. He tries. Lewis is there. Heads down to Smith. Maskell! Now he's done it! Sheldon Maskell, his first goal for AFC Thames. We've brought him off the bench. He's got that six finishing. It didn't show there. 
2-1 with four minutes to go. We love a late goal in this team. We love it. Smith, uh, sorry, not Smith, Sonny Best with the ball across. It's knocked down by Lewis. Smith, in fact, doesn't even get the tackle. It's just the, the instincts of Maskell, the acceleration of Maskell, I'm going to say. And uh, we've got ourselves the goal. We'll come off attacking pretty quickly here. As the time is going to run out, is it? I hope so. Into third position with a game in hand, I believe, on second. Really good performance. Let's show me this league table. I'm very much excited to see it. I told you the other day, viewers, this is this is spicing now. We It is hot. Oh, oh, it's hot. It's hotting up, viewers. It's get, getting very hot. Well, let's take a look then. 2-1. Look at that. That's what you want to see. We've got a game in hand. We could move up into second or if we win it. And then, who knows, Oxford City drew with Bath this weekend. So if they start dropping a few more points here and there, we continue to put in results like this against sides that are battling for those playoff positions. We have every chance, viewers. Every chance indeed. If you've enjoyed today, do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, again, make sure you are subscribed. And I'll see you again soon with a whole lot more. We love with care. If you Benji, I'll see you again. Goodbye. Remember, stream a showdown tonight, 7 o'clock, twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji. I'll see you there.